Hey guys, this is Ben, and today I'm going to talk about my journey towards getting accepted to medical school. What I did my four years of undergrad to get to where I am. So if you guys um, are not caught up with my cycle because I haven't really made any videos on it, uh, my channel has mostly been instructional videos for the first two years that it's been made. But I'm starting to like move on to more video recording videos right now. Uh, hopefully that goes well because that's this it, it has always been my dream to make videos like this but I just didn't have a good enough camera and this camera is not that great but eventually hopefully we will get to a point where I can make better quality videos but my name is Ben finally you guys get to see me in real life but here are here's what I did for my first four years of uh, college so I could get into medical school and just to catch you guys up, so far I have been accepted to a couple of schools. I have had 10 interviews so far and hopefully I'll get more down in the cycle. It's October so you never know. And um, so here we go. Freshman year, what did I do? Well, freshman year I didn't really know if I wanted to get go into medicine. I was a psych major at the time and I really like psych. I wanted to do so something with psych in my career and I was really committed to doing psych but a part of me also really loved science and wanted to do biology so I was like okay let let me take a couple of biology courses in addition to psych and see if I actually like it and uh, within the first couple of months I already saw that psych wasn't really my passion and the reason why is because I was in my classes yeah I was doing great I was pulling A's and all my coursework but I never felt challenged. I felt like I needed to do more, but I never got the opportunity to do more than I wanted to. And don't get me wrong, psych is a really challenging subject. It's just, it wasn't as fulfilling for me and I wanted to do something more. And I actually ended up really like my gen chem course. And believe it or not, I really liked it. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm liking the pre-med courses, let's keep on going. So second semester, I wanted to get some volunteer work in. So what I ended up doing is I, uh, I started volunteering at a local hospice and just absolutely loved what I was doing. That I was able to make an impact on people who often don't get support from their families because they're stuck in a hospice. and um, Families are busy and they don't always have any, uh, always have the support that they need. So I was there to give them support, give them an ear to listen to, and I absolutely loved what I was doing. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do. I want to help people. And I want to apply um, what I learned in my coursework, especially in science, towards helping people. And I also like critically solving problems and being able to listen and help people solve their own issues and problems. So... Um, First two year of uh, the first two semesters went by super easy. I took 18 credits, almost had a breakdown a couple of times because I had no social life. My only support was my best friend, and that was about it. And uh, but I still liked what I was doing, and I loved what I was doing in hospice. Um, and then summer rolled around, and I took a couple of courses over the summer, and I met this amazing guy who really liked what I was doing in class because I was so friendly, I was willing to help everybody, and he was like, hey, uh, there's this research study that I'm doing, do you want to be a part of it? And I was like, uh, okay, maybe, just give me your contact information and I'll contact you if I'm interested. So after I had his contact information, I started looking through the project that he was involved with, and it was on... Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and it sounded so amazing and you were actually going to the hospital interviewing patients and seeing how they dealt with PTSD so I was like okay sign me up so uh, around August of my sophomore year I went to that project I got the training that I needed and I was going into the hospital and interviewing patients about post-traumatic stress disorder and in addition to that, I ended up actually having a positive impact in these patients because not only was I collecting data for research, but I was also 
giving them resources to free clinics in the area where they could get help for free, free counseling, that kids, where they could get free food if they were homeless or something like that. And I just kept loving what I was doing, giving back to the community. And that's when I realized, yes, medicine is for me. I want to go into medicine and I want to keep doing medicine. So beginning of my sophomore year, I knew I wanted to be a doctor. And my grades were showing um, that I could handle the rigor. And also, I was getting, getting involved in activities that made me know that I, this is what I wanted to, do, wanted to do for the rest of my life. So uh, second year went by. Uh, did great in my classes, always, always doing flashcards, making study groups. Orgo was terrible, but I still loved doing it. Didn't like Orgo 2 as much, but we're not going to talk about that, but I still survived. Went through Orgo 2, and second year flew by, and then third year I started to get involved in research. Uh, not just clinical research, but actually wet lab research, doing basic science research. So I did that through all summer. And then all through fall of junior year, I didn't like it as much, but that's when I kind of knew I didn't want to be involved in um, educational research or like uh, basic science research uh, in my career. But that was a really good experience because I would have never known that I didn't like basic research as much. Um, but it was still a worthwhile experience because I got to apply the, um, what's that? I can't believe I forgot getting the word for this. I, I was I was able to make hypothetical experiments and see if they, you know, they f followed the hypothesis that I said or not. And that was really, that was really helpful because uh, I am planning on doing research while in medical school, but more patient-centered research. And it doesn't matter whether you do basic science research, what lab research, all of it's experience that you can use, utilize later on in your career. So that's what I ended up doing. So um, after junior year, I was like, holy, holy moly, I got to study for the MCAT. So I bought the Kaplan books. I bought the exam crackers books. I bought a ton of, ton of practice passages and tests. And I just went ham on MCAT studying for three to four hours a day for about 90 days. Took the MCAT, got my score back. Wasn't really happy with the score that I got, but it was still a satisfying score. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and apply to medical school. Um, so as soon as the end of junior year came about, I gathered all my letters of recommendation. Of course, I had to make really good relationships with my professors and my extracurricular um, activity supervisors. But I did and I got their letters in and I got uh, my transcript into AMCAS and... I was ready. I was ready to face the cycle and didn't expect much because I wasn't that happy with my MCAT score, but to cover my own self, I decided to apply to both osteopathic schools and allopathic schools because I have no bias between the schools and I, I could see myself attending either. I just wanted to see which school I fit well in, so I applied broadly across the United States uh, to schools where uh, it fit my mission because I believe that my mission has to fit the mission of the school as well and I wanted to do underserved medicine so I applied to all the schools out there that emphasize that there's a ton of medical schools that emphasize that believe me um, and by the time July came around I got my first interview I was shocked that I got an interview that early and then in August I got five more and then by September I had ten and I was like holy moly they actually like me and then I attended the interviews waited a couple of weeks and I got my first acceptance and I was completely ecstatic about what happened so this is my personal journey towards medicine it's still not over yet I'm still going through the cycle but this is my status right now and I just want to tell everyone just to work hard on what you want and you don't always have to d be determined when you're a freshman to know where you're going. You can find out along the way. Just work hard, do what you do best. Of course, my timeline is not gonna be the same as your timeline. And of course, don't take my advice as as like, you know, a law. Um, everyone's experience is different. I just wanted to share my experience so it may help you become motivated to do what you need to do to go into medicine and maybe it might provide a good framework
for how you want to go about into doing your extracurricular, excuse me, extracurriculars or anything else. Um, thank you guys and hope to see you guys on the next one.